Good morning children. Now you know about the fractions. Let's learn how to reduce a fraction to the simplest form or the standard form. Jagan went out with 225 kgs of vegetables one day. That day he sold 175 kg of vegetables. So, what fraction of vegetables did he sell that day? This is easy to calculate. Jagan sold 175 by 225 of the total vegetables. Now, this fraction can be reduced or can be made simpler. How can we do that? Both the numerator and the denominator can be made smaller. We already know like to get an equivalent fraction we generally divide both the numerator and denominator by the same number and by doing so we reduce that fraction. For example, we have 2 by 4. If we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2, so what do we get? 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we get the reduced fraction which is 1 by 2. So we can make the fraction simpler this way by dividing both the numerator and denominator by the same number. Now the question is what is the simplest form of a fraction? How do we know it? Let's try to do it with an example. Look here we have a fraction 45 by 60. Let us reduce it to simplest form. How do we do it? We will find the factors of 45 and 60. Factors of 45 are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, 45. And what about 60? The factors of 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30 and 60. So let's divide 45 and 60 by 3. So, if we divide 45 by 3, then 3 1s are 3 and 3 5s are 15. And coming to the denominator part, 3 2s are 6, 3 zeros are 0. So, we get 20. So, the fraction has reduced to 15 by 20. But, what is this? This fraction can be further reduced. You know it can be divided by 5. Now let's try the another factor of 45 and 60 which is 5. So let's divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5. 5 9's are 45 and 5 1's are 5, 5 2's are 10, 20. So this fraction is reduced to 9 by 12. But what do we see again? This fraction can be further divided by 3. So 9 and 12 
can be further divided by 3 and can be reduced further. So, let's try a higher factor of 45 and 60 which is 15. So, let's divide the numerator and the denominator by 15. What do we get? We get 3 by 4. Here, 3 by 4 is the reduced form. It cannot be reduced further as the common factor of 3 and 4 is 1. There is only one common factor of 3 and 4 which is 1. So, this is the simplest form of this fraction and it is also called the standard form of the fraction. Now, what was so special about the number 15? Well, 15 is the SCF of 45 and 60. So, when we divided 45 and 60 by 15, we get its simplest form which is 3 by 4. So, now you know if we want to reduce a fraction to its simplest form, just find out the HCF of the numerator and denominator and then divide both the numerator and denominator by the HCF which is 15 here. So, when we divided 45 and 60 by the highest common factor which is 15, we get the simplest form of the fraction which is 3 by 4 and 3 by 4 cannot be reduced further and it is the simplest form. So, remember if we divide both the numerator and the denominator with their HCF, we reach the simplest form. Now, the question is, how do we know the fraction is in its simplest form or not? Let's find out what are the common factors of 3 and 4. The common factor of 3 and 4 is only 1. So, what do we understand? That if the numerator and denominator has only one factor which is 1, then the fraction cannot be reduced further. Now, coming to the amount of vegetables which Jagan sold, the fraction was 175 by 225. Let us reduce it to the simplest form. Factors of 175 are 1, 5, 7, 25, 35 and 175. What about 225? Its factor are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, 25, 45, 75 and 225. Now, what is the HCF here? The HCF here is 25. So, let us divide both the numerator and the denominator by 25. We found the HCF of 175 and 225 as 25. Let us use it. So, let us divide 175 and 225 by 25. What do we get? 25 sevens are 175 and 25 nines are 225. So, we get the reduced fraction which is 7 by 9. Now, is 7 by 9 the simplest form? Let's find the factors of 7. They are 1 and 7. What are the factors of 9? 1 and 9. So, between 7 and 9, the only common factor is 1. So, we can say 7 by 9 
is the simplest form of the fraction 175 by 225 understood so when the fraction is in its simplest form we also say that the fraction is in its standard form you know when two numbers have only one as the common factor the numbers are said to be co-prime numbers so in the standard form the numerator and the denominator are co-prime meaning they have only one common factor and that is 1 let us see in the case of 9 by 32 they both have many factors the factors of 9 are 1 3 9 and what about 32 the factors of 32 are 1 2 4 8 16 and 32 now let's find out what are the common factors of 9 and 32 it's only 1 so we can say 9 and 32 have only one common factor which is 1 so 9 and 32 are co-prime numbers since 9 and 32 are co-prime numbers we can say 9 by 32 is a fraction which is in standard form or the simplest form understood so let us reiterate two numbers are co-prime only when the common factor is 1 so in case of 9 and 32 the only common factor is 1 so they are co-prime numbers and we can say 9 by 32 is a fraction which is in the standard form or the simplest form now let's reduce 24 by 36 to its standard form the factors of 24 are 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 24 and the factors of 36 are 1 2 3 4 6 9 12 18 and 36 what is the HCF here the HCF is 12 12 is the HCF of 24 and 36 so let us use it to reduce this fraction to its standard form 12 twos are 22 and 12 threes are 36 so we get the reduced fraction as 2 by 3 understood and if we check 2 and 3 are co-prime numbers as only one factor is common to both of them which is 1 they are co-prime numbers and so the fraction is in the reduced form or the standard form that's all for now bye bye children